Welcome to an introduction to accounting, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. In this podcast we are going to look at setting up our budgets and how we can produce a report for the budget. If we start here, we're just going to go down and show you, move the cursor down to show you that this is the start of the year, the 1st of April in 2012, because we would normally set our budgets at the beginning of the year. You can, however, amend your budgets later in the year, or you can, in fact, set up your budgets later in the year. We're interested in the sales budgets, and I've already set up the sales budget for one nominal code. So I'm now going to select the next nominal code, which is for the sales of summer houses, and I'm interested in that record. Move that. So I can see at the moment that what I've got is some figures on the sales of summer houses. I've also got a budget and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the total there and I'm going to say that the total that I'm expecting in the year is 45,000. Now I have to decide how to distribute it. Well the, one of the easiest ways to distribute it is just to press enter and it says I've entered a total budget value the program will distribute this total evenly across the individual monthly budgets. Is this what I want? Yes, this is what I do want, but I could alter that at some future date. But I'm going to save that. And having saved it, I think I saved it. Right, I am now going to close that and look for the next one which is other sales so I will select that record and I get to set up this one and I'm going to say I expect 36,000 as my sales over the year and I'm again going to divide those sales and that's fine and that was nominal code 4002 I believe I have a 4004 sales service charges which I also want a budget for or does that screen that keeps popping up and I will say that I'm going to get a 45,000 sales target for the year and I will uh, yes, I want that divided equally, so I need to save that. And having saved that, I'm now going to close. So I've now set up a series of budgets for garden shed, summer house, and other sales, and I've set those up in April. So I'm going to look at some financial reports here and one of those financial reports is a budget report and if I want a budget report if I select it and preview it it will ask me what date I want it between so I could say right I want it for the year and if I now click on OK it should bring that up and it's showing me I want to just there we are. And it's showing me my totals for the sales that I expect for my budget for the year. And I'm going to close that. And I'm going to alter the date of the program by going into settings, change the program date. It's going to close down any other screens and I'm just going to flick quickly through we are on October so I'm going to go to today's okay that's fine and if I now look at my reports or my links here we are for my nominal ledger I can now look at some nominal budget reports and I can look at the nominal budgets for let's try months 7 to 12 and 
if I preview that I can now select the accounts well I'm only really interested in those accounts that I've just set some stuff up for which was between 4000 and 4004 so now I have a better idea of my budget what my sales have been, what my budget was for each one, right? I haven't compared budget with actual anything on this one, right? But that is my budget for that. Those are my budgets for that period. Okay. When we're producing reports, we'll show you how we do the comparison with actual. Thank you.